right, Algebra 1, Lesson 6. Now this one is on um, rules for addition and then adding more than two numbers, inserting parentheses mentally, and then also the definition of subtraction. So let's do a few of they, these. Um, the rules for addition is um, something I want to talk about. And basically, whenever you have numbers, and we're going to go into a little bit more in depth in just a minute. 2 minus 5, okay? Whenever you're working with adding or subtracting um, negative or positive numbers, what you're going to do is, and I taught this several years, so if you kept up with my videos, then you know this, okay? We always want to take a minus and make it into a, um, a plus negative. Okay, so when you do that, basically you're, you're changing the minus to a plus and the sign that is there, you're going to make the opposite. So for example, we had 2 minus 5. I changed this to a plus and right now it's a positive 5, so I want to make it a negative 5. Okay, um, now if it already has 2 plus 5, then obviously you don't have to change the plus. But that's something we're going to talk about even more deeper in just a minute, okay? So let's take uh, some of these problems, and they're gonna we're gonna talk about making parentheses around numbers. It just makes everything easier when you put them in parentheses. Okay, hopefully you can see this that it makes it easier. Now they're putting positive four. They're just kind of showing you that um, that's a positive four and that's a positive two. But even if the positive is not there we know that that means it's positive, okay? So um, from here, you're just gonna go from left to right like we did on one of the last problems. So um, negative five plus positive four would be, I would subtract and get a one and take the sign of the biggest number, negative one, and I'm gonna bring everything else down. I'm just gonna keep this, um, keep doing these parentheses things. Negative one plus negative three, same sign, so I'm gonna add four and keep the same negative, and then plus a positive 2. And then again, I just brought that down, so negative 4 plus positive 2, I'm going to subtract and get 2 and take the sign of the biggest number. Negative 2 is the answer, okay? But let's talk about when we don't have parentheses. I'm wanting you to learn to add parentheses. For example, 4 minus 3 plus 2. Now, whenever we're working with problems like this, especially when we get to negative negatives and stuff like that, it's important that we learn to put parentheses, okay? And so what I want you to do is first step is just put parentheses around the numbers. So I've got four minus three plus two, okay? Second step you're gonna do is change your, make sure these are all pluses, okay? Again, if I change this to plus, then I change the sign to the right to the opposite, which is gonna be negative. So now I've got 4 plus negative 3 plus 2. And I'm just going to put everything in parentheses like they like us to keep it, okay? So 4 plus 3, you're going to subtract and get 1, and 1 plus 2 equals 3, okay? Hopefully um, that was pretty easy for you, okay? Let's do a few more, all right? Um, try this one. This one gets a little bit harder. Negative 4 minus 3 plus 2 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2. Okay? Now you can either start immediately and put in parentheses around your numbers if that's easier for you and then change your minuses or you can just go on and start with your minuses and changing this to a plus negative, plus negative, plus negative, plus negative. Hopefully you can see, and then you can put parentheses around them, like that. See that? If that helps you. All right, and then we're just gonna go left to right. Negative four plus negative three makes negative seven. Bring everything else down. Keep them in parentheses if you like it that way, which I would suggest. Negative seven plus ne ne um, plus positive two would give us five and then negative. Bring everything else down. You don't want to take too many steps, 
because um, it, it will mess up, um, especially if you're not real careful. So negative 5 plus negative 4 makes negative 9, plus a negative 3 plus a negative 2, keeping everything in parentheses. And now I'm going to move up to the top just because I don't have enough room. This says negative 9 plus negative 3 makes negative 12 plus a negative 2. And then our final answer would be negative 14. Negative 12 plus negative 2 makes negative 14. Hopefully you see that, okay? All right. Um, see if there's anything else we need to teach on that. Um, I kind of did already teach you the definition of subtraction and then the addition thing. You want to always work on making your negative, even if you had 6 minus a negative 4. I'm going to put that in parentheses and this one in parentheses. You'll always want to take these minuses and put plus and then change the sign of the number to the right. And that would change to a positive. Hopefully you see that. So you're always changing your minuses to a plus and the opposite sign that's there. Okay? That is lesson six.